Hey YouTube, Will from All Electric, and we just got another update for our white Model 3. Nothing for the red one yet, but since the white Model 3 just got the hardware 3.0, we should have the exact same release notes, but let's jump in there right now and check out and see what is new with this update. Okay, so let's jump in here and see the release notes. So we have Bluetooth improvements and improved voice command reliability. So I do not have the track mode because I don't have a performance Model 3, but if you guys are part of the Tesla community and do follow other people, you know that with this software update, track mode did come out if you do have a Tesla Model 3 performance. So now let's check the Bluetooth out because improved voice command reliability. I did do some testing and it and it did perform about the same. No noticeable improvements for me, but I'll continue that testing and let you guys know if I see some big improvements on the voice commands. A big thank you goes out to our Grandma Tool and Nicola Pro supporting this channel at the all electric tier. If you want to support this channel, head over to Patreon. There's a link below. So since this update did involve the Bluetooth setting, you'll notice here that my phone isn't connected even though I have it in my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap to connect my phone and ensure that all my settings are turned on to make sure that this is a legit test. So I'm also gonna go into the Bluetooth settings in my iPhone and make sure all that is turned on. And in fact, it is turned on. But we're gonna find out later in the video why my phone wasn't connected. So let's close the door and then pick some audio where I'm not gonna get demonetized on, and which would be one of my videos like you see here. And we are now listening to this video through the iPhone speaker. So even when I open the door, we are still listening to the audio through the iPhone speaker. It has not yet switched to the car. So this is all coming through the iPhone speaker. Now let's climb into the car and you can see that it's still playing through the iPhone and has not yet connected to my car. My phone has not connected to my car like we saw at the beginning of the video. Now it's not until I reach over and close the driver's door and that means all the doors are closed. So no other doors are open and then you're gonna see on the center display that the car is smart enough to realize all the doors are closed and now it is going to connect to my phone and play the audio from that video through the car speakers rather than playing through my phone. So you can see that once all the doors are closed, that's when we're gonna get the audio or if you're in a phone call, the audio is gonna transition from your phone to the car, which is really nice. So now let's, let's see what happens when we go out of the car. So right now the audio is playing through the car and once we close the door, just as expected, once we hit play on the video, the audio is gonna come through the iPhone. So a pretty noticeable improvement as far as Bluetooth quality goes. Now, in my last 2020 Model 3 accessories video, I did select three winners. Now, make sure you go and check your comment on that video because here are the three winners. And if you were one of the winners, make sure that you send me an email address from this email that you used to make those comments and claim your prize. As dangerous as it is, I was shopping on Amazon for something non-Tesla related and I wanted to share it with you guys because I was so impressed with these little solar powered lights. And now why I was impressed and I want to preface saying this video is not sponsored. I bought these and I'm just really excited and I want to share them with you guys. But if you do end up purchasing them through my link, yes, I do receive a small commission from Amazon if you do use my link that does support the channels. So let's install these on our new fence that we got because these little devices actually have a motion sensor and there's three different settings which we'll get into in a little bit. But they also provide you with a very, very easy to use template. Once you decide where you wanna place it, you just place the template on there. It has two holes where all you have to do is mark the holes and then simply install two of the provided screws. Now I chose not to pre-drill the holes because I'm installing it into a six by six. So not that big a deal. So it simply clips in and slides down is a bit tricky if you don't get the screws exactly right. So I've had these installed for a couple days and I'm pretty impressed with the build quality of these compared to some of the other ones that I tested and didn't make the cut and I ended up returning those to Amazon. These 
have a really nice fit and finish and fit perfectly on this six by six post. So here I am doing the other side of the gate with that template, super easy to mark the holes and then screw them in. So once the two screws are in, then you just simply have to slide the device on there and there you have it. Really easy and again, they feel really well made and very durable, but I'll let you know how they hold up. There's three different modes, and I chose mode number two where it has a dim light, and then when motion hits, then it will really illuminate. So here is the dim light, and you're gonna see as I start to walk up, wow, they are bright. Now I know it doesn't look that bright in the video, but it is bright. It lights up almost half of my backyard with just these two smaller lights. Even when my dog walks up, it sets off the motion, which is really nice when we send our dog in the backyard at night. Great, great feature. It's somewhere between 10 and 15 seconds once no motion is detected that the lights switch back from the really bright setting, which is really, really bright, back to the dim setting. And they'll stay in that dim setting until motion is detected and automatically transition back and forth. Now, if you don't like this setting, there is three other settings that you can choose from. But overall, I was really impressed with how these solar lights really put off a ton of light. Now it is really dark in my backyard, but these are super bright. I also install these at my other gate, which is really nice when I'm taking out the trash late at night. These will automatically come on now and I don't have to wire them up or anything. They just simply are two screws in the gate. And now I have plenty of light over in the corner of my yard where the trash cans are kept, so no longer do I have to take the trash out in the dark. So click the link down below if you're interested in these. They are about 30 bucks, and it's not gonna cost you any extra. Amazon gives me a cut of this $30 that you spend on there, so I appreciate your support. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend, and don't forget push, to push, hit push, that push, subscribe push button. button. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.